China has achieved a major milestone in its space program and historic first for human space exploration. China's lunar rover touched down last night on the far side of the moon, the first ever soft landing on the far side. And these are the earliest pictures now coming in from the rover, an up-close look that we have never seen before and a monumental advancement for the Chinese. Here to tell us more about this historic landing and what it could mean, Ryan Hicks joining us. So what details do we have about the landing? Jennifer, Chinese state media are reporting that the landing happened at around 10.26 in the morning Beijing time. The landing happened on the far side of the moon. Now, this part of the moon is sometimes mistakenly referred to as the dark side, but it actually receives as much sunlight as the Earth. This part of the moon is facing away from the Earth, and because of this position, it has been unexplored and hard to get to. The Chang'e 4 has a lander and a rover and touched down near the moon's south pole. Here again are some of those first pictures coming from the probe where we can see a small crater and a barren surface. This is historic because we're seeing the first ever close range image of the far side of the moon. Let's hear a bit more about why this landing is so significant. Far side of the moon is so meaningful. It has so many resources and yeah. also uh, we can have a better understanding of the formation uh, and evolution of the moon in the future. Uh, so in the future, I believe, uh, you know, that's uh, the China lunar exploration uh, project that has three steps, orbiting, landing and also sample reason. And Ryan, in the even bigger picture here, it seems this is more than just space exploration, but China looking to become a major power. Yeah, this is as much about geopolitics as it is about space exploration and science. China has space ambitions. Its pr space program is growing. It's trying to catch up to Russia and the United States. So today's landing is a milestone, and this is causing some unease in the United States. President Donald Trump and the U.S. Defense Department believe China has bad intentions. China says its motives are peaceful. In response to the new competition, Petition, President Trump announced the creation of a space force by 2020, a sixth branch of the military. That coincides with Beijing's plans to start building its own manned space station next year. So what we're seeing is a space race between two of the world's superpowers playing out above all of us as we speak. Thanks, Ryan. Pretty fascinating. You're welcome.